guys for coming. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you know, we expected to be here, but obviously the uh, journey goes through a whole lot of twists and turns and everything, including this game. Uh, what did it take uh, to, you know, you're down at the end of the first, each of the first three quarters. What did it take to dig this one out against this team? A little help. Um, you know, and then, I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. I ain't talking about this game. It's over. We in the playoffs. I want to focus on that. And uh, we didn't play our best game. We know that. But whatever's behind us, we got to focus on the bigger picture. Everything zero zero. Uh, what do you need this team to do uh, before the first practice of the playoffs? Um, first of all, just understand what we're trying to do defensively. You know, we know we're a tough team. Uh, well coached. Mine does a hell of a job. Uh, one of the best coaches in our league. And so we know with KD, with Book, with CP, you know, they, they definitely execute. So we got to be um, tight with our game plan, understanding what we're trying to do, what we're trying to take away. Uh, we can't have a lot of breakdowns. And we've been having breakdowns, you know, these last couple of weeks. You know, we haven't been as sharp defensively as we need to be. But hopefully with four or five days to prepare, uh, we, we should be a lot better. Is that a physicality thing or is it something else? It's a physicality and a mental thing. I saw uh, Bones and Plumley got into it a little bit on the bench between third and fourth quarters. Everything cool there. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't getting the right fight, then I don't know. It's a big game. So <laughs> if it ain't right, do something to fix it. And after that little skirmish, we took off and played a lot better. So maybe we should do that more often. I was about to say, I know you don't really <laughs> like guys getting into it on the bench, but if it works, no, it works. No, they, they worked it out. It's okay. Everything's good. Well, I know that you weren't happy with the professional approach yesterday. I know you guys played like you did the first two quarters today. What makes you think that you know, come playoffs, that, that's going to switch. That, that flip's going to switch. You guys can be yeah, well, urgent. And yeah, no flip. Focused. I mean, we got to be ready to play or we'll be going home. You know, so we understand that. We understand what's at stake. And we know we're, we're facing a good team. Um, but, you know, 82 games, you know, it's a long season. Guys in and out of rotation, a lot going on. And so for me, I just want to just, you know, thank my coaching staff. You know, it's been a tough year for us, you know, all year just – Grinding and you know, Kawhi missing 30 games, PG missing 30 games, Norm missing 25. Like it's just been a, a roller coaster of a season. But to um, for our coaching staff to stay with it and um, continue to compare uh, prepare these guys the way we have, and then the guys in the locker room for fighting every single night, you know, um, playing through adversity, playing through tough times, and you know, getting here and, and uh, solidifying the fifth position that means a lot. It says a lot about our guys in the locker room. So I'm just happy with it, with that overall. What has it been like to start the year with these? expectations then and at the final minutes of the season you might be in the plane you might not depending on how things go in Minnesota and New Orleans like, so what's that ride been like it's been tough you know um, like I said it's been hard it's been a hard road and um, you know when your two best players miss 60 games you know and um, just trying to figure it out and then you can make a trade and you, you acquire four new guys with 21 games left in the season well three new guys with 21 games left in the season and then Russ comes in with 19 games in the season you know, it's just been a, it's been a crazy year, and so I'm just proud of our guys. Like I said, I'm proud of our coaching staff for just sticking in there. And now we start a new season, so um, I'm excited about the the uh, task at hand. I know our guys in the locker room are as well, and so but we got to be better than we have been uh, over the course of the last week or so. What much were you monitoring the Minnesota New Orleans game that score down the stretch today? Um, I mean, we, we I mean we kept hearing about it and what it was, but we had to take care of business. You know, that, that game was too close to try to even you know think about what was going on with that, and so. Um, you know, we're locked in the five, you know, we play in Phoenix and like I said, we're excited for the challenge. You mentioned uh, earlier in March that when, when Norm got hurt that you were worried about last year, you know, how he came back, he wasn't quite in rhythm for the, you know, that week that turned into the yeah. playing week. Obviously he had a shaky week last week, but he really took the team on his back this weekend. Uh, what can you say about his progress from last week to this week and what that means for the start of the playoffs? Um, his progress has been great. You know, I think he's had more time this time than he did um, before the play-in games. And so um, him being able to, you know, get back healthy, attack the basket, get to the free throw line, um, you know, and we love his downhill attack. attacks. That changes our team, you know, because we don't got a lot of guys that get to the basket. So um, that changes our team. But when he's playing at a high level off the bench, you know, we are a tough team, you know. So we got to – you know, get everybody up to his speed where, where he's at right now, and then go into the playoffs um, this weekend coming up. You mentioned that uh, guys were excited about the, the task at hand going forward. Like, you know, what was the locker room like? Like, did you say, what, what did you say to those guys after today's game? I said, bring it in. What did you say at halftime? 
I didn't cuss this time. <laughs> I didn't cuss this time. They got to be professional and understand what's at stake. And, you know, back-to-back, -back, you know, noon games or 12.30 games, you know, we, we're terrible in early games anyway, you know. And so uh, we were sleepwalking in the first half and came out of the third quarter with a little – a little bit more spunk, but I thought Plum was good for us off the bench. I thought Bones in that first half was good. I thought um, um, Norm was really good, you know, coming off the bench. So our, our bench the last couple of games has really been good, especially in these early games. It kind of gives us the energy, energy we need to win the game. I know this, this look you got tonight is not the same you'll get come game one, but Kawhi has shot the ball uncharacteristically poorly against Phoenix all year. He came into today shooting like 25%, 29%. Like what? 29% from the against, field? Against Phoenix this year. From the field? Yeah. Damn. What is, do you see any, <laughs> do you see anything there? Like the way they guard him? No, I know early on they double team and try to get the ball out of his hands. Um, and if they're going to do that, you know, we definitely got to work on, you know, our spacing. We've been working on it all year, but we just, we're not quite there, especially with the new additions, you know, just our spacing and um, how to pick teams apart when they're going to double team. So we got to be better with that. And, that's what kind of hurt us early on in the game, um, just not having our right spacing, the right ball movement, and um, we got to be better with that. So that's yes, some things that we're going to work on um, before we start this series. What did you make of the fact that it looked, it seemed like it was clear the sh the jumpers just weren't there, and often like we've seen games where you guys just keep shooting them, you didn't do that in this fourth quarter. You guys got kind of like put your head down, everyone, Kawhi, Russ, Norm, they just put their head down and got to the paint to their spots repeatedly, uh, like, what, what do you kind of make of the offensive kind of decision-making um, as you guys got through the game? Well, I think, like you said, Russ made some big plays, you know, down the stretch, a couple offensive rebounds, a couple of putbacks. Um, that was good. We just talked about attacking the paint. Like, we can't settle for jump shots. We're not making jump shots tonight. And um, yeah, we shot 100 shots, which um, I don't know when the last time we've done that, you know, just far as just trying to play with pace, trying to attack the rim, trying to attack early which we did a good job in the second half, but not too good in the first half. Okay. Thank you.